up, guys? I'm here at the gym. Um, walked in and I just noticed this. <laughs> it's pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. What's hey, uh, Matthew? What's Bob? Name? Bob? All right, guys. It's uh, November fourth. Doing squats today. There's the first set. Um, I got, or someone came up to me. Uh, we talked while I was trying to film the picture, but it's pretty cool how CalFit put my picture on their wall, uh, leading to the upstairs workout room. I, was, I just thought that was really, really cool, and uh, my respect level for this gym just rose, <laughs> and my admiration of this gym. Definitely a great place to work out. Uh, it always has been, but my mentality hasn't always been uh, as positive as it, has been, as it is now. So I guess people change, and uh, the, um, the way they treat me reflected... Uh, my own personal change. So I thought it was pretty cool how uh, things are really different now than how they were years ago. I used to be that weirdo kid, that weird kid who lifted weights that seemed too heavy for him, but he still did it, but he didn't talk to anyone and he smelled and <laughs> that sort of thing. I was kind of like the uh, Lone Ranger outcast kind of guy who uh, didn't really talk to anyone. He just worked out, left. Things are much different now. Um, it's like I, I am a lot more social, but not at the expense of my goals, since my goals are known and they're tangible and quantifiable rather than just this long distance goal with nothing or no small goals uh, in between. That's how it used to be. I used to just be like, I want to get stronger, I want to get stronger, without really tracking myself and what I was doing, but now. Uh, since I'm on solid program all the time, and I know kind of what my goal is for each day, each workout, each week, month, year, whatever. It's allowed me to be much more social, um, just because you know I don't have to keep my mind on so much on the workout since um, I already know what I'm doing. So that's just one difference of now and years ago. So, anyways. I'll set my first set of squat, 260 for 5, my next set is 300, the set after that is 340, let's begin. Alright guys, it's Mateo's 5 plus rep set. Take a guess of how many he's going to hit. Alright, it's 340 on the bar. Breathe into the stomach, show your crotch, and uh, squat, bro. Come on! There you go. Nice. Get to 
chest up. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give it in. Come on. He was just being modest and only wanted to do six. What's happening, guys? Uh, something I wanted to bring up was that my form, obviously, is far from perfect. Um, and I posted something on Facebook today uh, claiming that. And I gave some um, sources where you could find really, really great um, lessons and videos about squat te uh, squatting and other uh, exercises. Uh, just YouTube, Google, Elite FTS maybe Smitty Weasel, um, and rip -toe, all on Google or YouTube. Use both if you want. You can find a ton of great videos. Uh, learn how to squat correctly. Learn how to deadlift bench correctly. Because um, it really takes an expert <laughs> to actually uh, teach you to know how to do this stuff right. Um, it's not really something that you can just like, feel your way into. Um, otherwise, you might be lifting with uh, imperfect... Uh, technique for a long time and over a period of months, years, just kind of damaging yourself in a way, in a way. Of course, strengthening yourself, but in, in certain ways, kind of doing yourself a disservice by not using a certain technique. So, um, for example, something with me that, and also for my buddy Mateo that I noticed over time, and other people have noticed and called me out, um, and I'm glad that they did, is that uh, our butts, especially Mateo's butt, it tucks tucks under. And this could be for several reasons. It could be that the hamstrings aren't properly warmed up and they aren't stretched enough. Maybe they're tight. Um, and that causes, as you're squatting, the butt to kind of round. So what am I talking about? Say you're doing it, you're going down, you're going down, you're going down. Now I'm going to purposely do it. It's like, how do I explain it? Get out of the way. Like, when the butt goes down like that, okay, and I'm purposely doing it. I'm not actually showing you how I squat, but I'm showing you how the butt kind of goes round or down. Like right, I don't know. See, I, I'm not even showing it right because right now my flexibility is fine. Um, and also I've learned something to kind of fix it. Um, so, it, it, you can watch yourself, if you go really deep and watch other people, you, you may notice that the butt tends to round underneath. Um, I'm going to go seek expert advice for my coaches and uh, as well as uh, Lead FTS and Smitty Diesel and Ripito, like I said. Uh, they're going to be my first sources. Um, and also, I'm really thankful that someone actually sent me like this essay of how he fixed a similar problem. Um, so I really appreciate it. And you know who you are. Um, so... You'll notice in this last set that it's actually, uh, I don't really, my butt doesn't tuck underneath on this last set. And uh, mostly just because of the, uh, the verbal, visual, mental cue that I used of spreading the crotch or showing the crotch. And what I did is I really, really focused not so much on the knees coming out, but the knees coming out from the pelvis, if that makes sense. So spreading the knees from the pelvis, showing the crotch. I did that, and you'll notice that my last set, uh, the butt didn't tuck whatsoever. The first set, it did. You could definitely see it. Second set, I'm not, I'm not sure how much you could see that. But the last set, holy shit, there, there was no butt tuck. And uh, I, uh, I read some messages on my phone right after I was doing the squatting about it, and I was like, holy crap, this guy is totally right. My butt does tuck. My friend Mateo's butt really, really tucks. And we need to address him on that and fix that. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's a big deal. It's not something to completely ignore. It's not something to, to you know, flip out about either. Um, it's not as bad as other mistakes in form. But it is an imperfection. It is um, something that should be addressed, could be addressed. And you will benefit if it's addressed. So something that I could do to fix my butt tuck problem um, could be rolling out my hammies, um, foam roll, uh, mouth fascial release, medicine ball, uh, spend more time on it pre and post-workout. For example, today I did some post-workout dynamic stretching as well. 
uh, alongside my medicine ball rolling on my hammies, especially. I tested myself. My squat looked sexy as hell after doing that. And also, I believe, and I, I tested it out, um, I did a, a couple sets of hamstring curls, and my squat looked perfectly fine. It looked right. Um, and maybe it was be maybe my butt was tucking because my hamstrings weren't really warmed up. And perhaps it's the same problem for Mateo. His hamstrings may not be completely warmed up, which maybe makes his butt tuck. And perhaps he isn't using the visual, verbal, uh, mental cue of spreading the crotch. I know a lot of people may point their knees to their toes, which is better than letting your knees come inward. Ooh, way better. But a lot of people don't um, visualize, um, you know, spreading the, the pelvic, pe the pelvis and spreading the crotch, so to speak, to kind of drive the hips up uh, when you're squatting and, um, you know, uh, when you're both squatting, when you're going down and up, you know, spreading the pelvis, uh, spreading the, the knees from the pelvis. It, it's an interesting concept. I definitely recommend uh, people go to youtube.com slash strength camp because I watched this video about that cue, that verbal cue when you're teaching squat, and it helped me right then in the moment. Uh, I didn't really do anything else other than think about that as I was squatting, and I believe it fixed the problem in the moment at least. Uh, not permanently because um, my hamstrings, I, I do need to focus on certain things so that I don't have to uh, you know, constantly remind myself to spread the uh, pelvis, but I, I definitely will be constantly thinking that when I squat from now on as well as, you know, showing the breast and four sides of your, or four quarters of your foot on the ground. So, um, woo, kind of went on and on right there. My form isn't perfect. I'm trying to make it better. It's all that matters. And uh, I definitely recommend you guys check out the sources that I told you about just now. Ripito, Elite FTS, Smitty Diesel, youtube.com slash strength camp. Equip me a little bitch! Oh, his cake!